Hey guys, what's up? This is CG Stuff. I'm here to talk to you about an add-on called Animate Pro. Uh, let's check out this page. Uh, this is called the Animate Forge bundle. It contains all of Not That NDA, the developer of uh, this suite of add-ons. Uh, one of them is Animate Pro. Now, this is a suite of add-ons. So, if we look closely, we have Animate Pro, Rig UI, Transformator, and many others. Okay, so what is this about? Now, if you're familiar with uh, uh, Animbot for Maya, this is Animbot and Beyond for Blender. Now, Anim Animate Forge is basically uh, a bundle of many add-ons. Now, right now, I'm just going to talk a bit about Animate Pro. Keep in mind that if you get this bundle, you're going to get so much more, and it's a steal. Okay, I'm not going to talk what this is, what this entails, uh, uh, look at it, experiment, uh, read about it. But basically, let's let's check it out. Here's the thing. Uh, if you're an animator, an aspiring animator, or, or an advanced animator, this is an essential add-on for you. Let's start. Here's the thing, I have this test rig, and before we even look at this rig, I'm just going to hide this for a second, let me just uh, add a ball. And don't worry about all of this, this is a different add-on. Uh, let me just uh, hide everything. I'm just gonna add a ball, or a cube, whatever. I'm just gonna add a couple of keyframes, just to test some stuff. Perfect. Uh, I just have this basic moving cube, and you can see that all of these things are pretty much Animate Pro, okay? Uh, let's just go to the graph editor and show a few things. Here's the thing. One of the few things that I usually struggle, and, and I'm, I'm before I even start talking about the, the add-on, I'm going to like explain a few things. One of the few things that I struggle in the graph editor as an animator is literally isolating curves. Like right now, it doesn't seem too tedious because it's just a cube and it's moving in space. Uh, but imagine... Uh, on a rig where you have multiple bones, multiple F curves, it becomes too complex and too annoying. So right now, if I were to isolate the Y location, I would have to click here, press Shift H, and then, you know, do what I have to do, you know. Uh, and then when I'm done, I'm going to have to press Alt H. And then, you know what, I'm going to have to do Alt Shift H on this. It becomes tedium. Here's the thing. Something as simple as this is if you go on the select section you have you can check the world which is basically global it shows you everything or you can check the location which basically like shows you only the location curves and what's more than that you can click control hold control basically to cycle through each one this is such a simple thing on this add-on because this add-on is so big and huge but only this small feature is a game changer so you can so you can only imagine what this add-on has in store for you. Okay, here's the thing. Right now, I go to the dope sheet and I see all these things. I can basically hide everything, hide uh, like like hide the, the the buttons. I can hide the the the, the menus. Uh, this is so customizable. Like for instance, if I were to let's say click on view, uh, this this basically button shows me uh, a switch between the dope sheet, the 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 editor switcher, which is basically the, sorry, the graph editor and the NLA. I'm like, all right, so maybe I don't like that. Maybe I want to go to the dope sheet and press control tab to go directly to the graph uh, editor. Uh, and I'm like, I'm fine with this. So personally, I don't want to see this button here. What I would like to do is customize those buttons. I'm like, okay, awesome. Here's the thing. If you go to preferences and search for Animate Pro, This allows you for maximum customizability. So if you go to the panels, and if you go to, let's say, these, uh, these uh, customization options, this allows you to start pin pinning what you would like. So I'm just going to put this here and show you guys. Right, here's the thing. Let's say I'm looking at these, and uh, right now at the top bar is the thing that's being displayed. So if I go to core top bar, this is the default top bar. Let's say I want to customize my personal top bar because these are the things that uh, the the the, U, uh, the UI that comes by default in, uh, in Blender with this add-on. So let's say I want to make one without the view button. All I have to do is duplicate this. 
uh, automatically it, it unpins the original one and pins the one that I have. And right now it's showing me by default, let's just disable the others temporarily. So right now it's showing me uh, what I am seeing right now. So if I go below, it's showing me, uh, oh, you have the view and uh, you have the select and the keyframe. I don't want the view. So I'm just going to delete this. And right now, uh, since the, the key is, is a toggle, basically, uh, it, like, you know, like it opens and, and closes, it's showing me a preview of what, what I'm going to get. So I just deleted the button, basically. So I don't want this and I don't want these. Perfect. So now I have a custom button. I'm going to also enable the rest. Right. And right now you can see that I only deleted the, 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 the view button, the, you know, the switching button. And that's exactly what I want. So now I have a custom menu with select keyframes, tools, utilities, uh, because right now, if I go back on the cube, I'm just going through the graph editor manually the way I want to do it. Uh, and, and you can, you can see that you can do the same with any buttons right now. Let's say you have a custom setup where basically, you know what, you don't want the keyframes, you don't want the tools. You can go in here and, and play with this with the with UI as much as possible you can you can make it your own what these buttons are what they are we're going to go in depth in more videos later but i'm just trying to show you that this is such an extensive tools for animators like for like as an example again i'm not going to go in depth too much but right now i'm just going to show you the tools right now if i just go and unhide everything i just want to like make a, a small tweak to the tools uh these are like one of the few cool tools that we have here if i'm gonna like i'm just gonna like bake these uh and i'm gonna bake them 30 frames okay okay cool so one of the coolest tools that like we have right now is anim lattice okay so i can just click i can experiment um and then i can tweak and adjust the timing and if i want to confirm i can just press enter or in this situation, I, I can just like press uh, escape. Another version of the Anim Lattice is the warping tool. So it's like kind of like Photoshop's warper, basically. You know what I mean? Obviously, I can do it uh, on individual uh, F-curve or I can do it on, on the entire thing. So that that's amazing. Uh, another cool uh, thing that I can do is if you notice that I baked uh, on every frame right now. So, so let's assume that I want to decimate or go back. Another cool tool is basically the anim slicer. So if I, let's say, I can either do it on all the F-curves on, on, or on the selected F-curve. So let's assume I want to do it on this F-curve. I can click anim slice and go selected F-curve and do this, which is pretty neat. Basically, it's as if I've undid the baking. Anywho, uh, anim play blast is also a pretty cool thing. Let's assume I just want to like add a camera. Uh, in this situation, I just go and press Let's just add a camera uh, and I want to basically do a, a preview of this simple animation that ends at 30. Uh, okay, action 30, right? And and once it's done, it automatically opens the active media player. So right now I'm, I'm seeing it, right? And if i if i want to preview it from a different angle without the camera i just like press automatic and it will preview from that angle the cool thing basically that it respects the overlays so if i disable the overlays if i if i change the the mat caps if i do any of those things and, uh, and i play it again it's gonna do that so that's pretty cool Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to let you guys know that this again is an amazing tool. And here's the thing: I am scratching the surface. I'm not. I'm not showing you what what it can do on a rig. I'm not showing you what what uh, other features, what experimental features there are. Uh, what what uh, what you can do with uh, with uh, with the hidden tools? Uh, because right now, like, there's some experimental tools. Because right now, this uh, tool. Uh, this uh, add-on has just uh, been published in 1.0. So, the, so one of the cool things that you can see is that it has uh, onion skinning over here, like hidden as a feature, because because you only get access to that in the forge, which which is basically like 
the difference between forge and core if you go look is that in the forge bundle you get uh, constant updates you get to see experimental features etc so currently right now if uh, if you basically get access if you go and get the forge you get access to current to constant updates and e even feature requests so i think that that's pretty cool because the developer is constantly like uh is friendly and 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 anything you ask uh on his discord server uh you'll get an immediate reply uh so that's pretty cool and and honestly it's again i emphasize that i'm scratching the surface uh like for instance, like there was an there was an add-on called AnimAid. One of the things in AnimAid is let's say I have like I, right now I have the simple animation. Let me just show you guys. The simple animation he's just like raising his hand right now. Okay. Uh, in AnimAid there was Anim Offset, but AnimAid got deprecated. So right now, if I want to let's say click on this, enable Anim Offset, and activate it, then turn it off. Right now, for the entirety of this animation, it applied me having just adjusted this pose. So there's that. <laughs> so so yeah, very powerful stuff. And again, just with these couple of features that I've announced, that I've explained, we are bra barely scratching the surface because this is an entire animation suit that is that goes beyond Animbot uh, with the complexity and and the things and the customization that you can do with this. Uh, honestly, if you're if you're branching out as an animator starting out as an animator sorry and want to uh, explore these features i would recommend here's the thing uh if even if you're a beginner animator you might think that okay you know what you don't need all of these tools but honestly i beg to disagree here's the thing uh even as a as a as a beginner animator things like the selection menus and and these specific selection tools are very essential to at least have in the and uh, in the, in the in the backlog uh, nudging, uh, anim offsets, maybe those advanced utility functions that I'm not going like, to go into details right now might not be essential. So it's as simple as you go inside the edit menu into the UI and create a custom UI for you and delete every, the things that you don't want. So that's how, how customizable this is. So it caters to the beginner and to the advanced. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys how cool this is and that uh, you really should look into it if you're serious about your animations. Uh, so yeah, see you guys later.